How's it going everyone, Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and today what I've got for you is a PLC programming tip that will drastically reduce your development time in RS Logix and Studio 5000. Now what I've got here is a live program in Studio 5000 and a rung that currently calculates the status of my asset one. As you can see, it is zero when it is stopped, it's one when it's running, two when it's faulted, and three when it is backed up. Now the logic in itself is not extremely important, but this what this example illustrates is that in many instances in PLC programming, you're going to have to duplicate your code. So in this case, I want to create an asset number two that's going to have the identical rung. And this is extremely common when you're creating multiple motors, when you're creating multiple valves, when you want to add logic for a different routine and can be applied in many instances. Now, the usual way to do this is I can go here, select my rung, right click, copy rung or use the shortcut control C and then again, right click, paste or control V. And from this point on, I'm going to go in here and have to change this to asset number two or any other asset for that matter. I'm going to have to go in and change every single tag. Now, the problems come in from number one, this being extremely tedious. And number two, if you have tags that are, for example, asset one underscore D3, and you're going to not asset two, but for example, asset 485, then as you can see, it immediately erases the rest of the tag. And so now I have to go in there and specify, for example, D3 as it was before. So it becomes very tedious, very fast. Now, the way to work around this, so first of all, I can delete this, but the usual way to work around this is this search and then replace feature. Now, as you can probably tell, it is grayed out and for good reason, because it is not allowed or it's not something that you can use on a live processor. The way to use this feature for your advantage is you can right click, copy this rung, go into a test program, just a random file that I have on my desktop. And here I can paste the rung. And again, this can be used for a series of rungs. This doesn't just have to be one. But what you can do here is if I go into search, replace or use the shortcut control H once you get used to this practice, search for asset one. And then I want to replace this with asset 45. And of course, this can be any number that you choose for your specific logic. I'm going to click replace all because I know that's the only instance of asset one that's going to happen. So I do need to replace all of them. So I'm going to replace and close this out. Now I can once again, copy this rung, go back to my original program and I can paste this underneath immediately. Of course, what's left to be done is to recreate the tags that have been defined for the other asset that are going to be the same. So this is a Boolean 128 and this is a dint 100. Now this step is going to be required regardless of the method of your choosing. So I can right click new asset 45B, so 128. And then asset 45, right click new asset DI. This is going to be 100. And so you're pretty much done with this specific asset. Now, as I mentioned, this can be applied to any number of rungs. In many instances, I had to copy 30 plus rungs for one specific asset, then do the exact thing that I just mentioned and then paste them back and that saved me a lot of time. So this is all I have for you today and I'll see you next time.